What is going on guys, my name is Garrick and today you are watching a 15 one 8 5 rounds using the M8A1 with FMG, Reflex, and Stack. I apologize, it is another M8A1 gameplay. Um, I posted a 22 and 3 yesterday and that was a really beats gameplay. Unfortunately, um, host dashboarded so I wasn't able to play um, the full length uh, of the game that I could have. I could have gotten like a 25 and 3. Um, but I wasn't able to play the entire time. But in this game, I was, and it was with the M8A1. It had a couple nice wall bangs in there, so I decided to upload it, even though it is, um, you know, an oversaturated weapon in the game. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today was the things that make Call of Duty fun. Because you may be thinking to yourself, why the hell am I still playing this game if it sucks? And the game doesn't really suck. It's a good game. Trust me. I love this game. It's amazing. Um, and people may not feel the same way about it the way that I do, but I, in my eyes, it is a fun game. It is very balanced. But to make a better game, you need to make it simpler. Because people who start playing the game and learn all these stupid ass things uh, about the game and find out all the stupid ass shit the more stupid ass people are going to come play the game. And I don't think that's good. And in COD 4, nobody, nobody had this problem. There was triple frags. It was it. And, and a couple other things, but I can't really remember them right now. Um, they had triple frags. It wasn't really that annoying. Now, was it? No, because I never complained about getting killed by a frag. Um, then again, I, it wasn't my first Call of Duty I played, so I played a lot later than everybody else. I played it like two years later than everybody else so didn't really work out the way i wanted it to but i still got to play the game i got to about uh, level 30 and then stopped playing it and then i never played it again so i apologize if you're a big fan of call of duty 4 i never got to play it my favorite call of duty would probably be um call of duty black ops 1 because that game was very balanced but it oh it had it had the things um in it that made it better it had the unfair factors too it had the motion sensors it had the famos it had the aug all that stuff his second favorite will probably be Modern Warfare 3 because that game, they'd sit with Pro and Recon Pro. You can also counter that, but not to the extent that they can use it. It's all about playstyle, and that's pretty much what makes Call of Duty fun. It's it's a gamble, whether you're going to get a gameplay or not, whether you're going to do good, what, what, whatever. Whether you're, you're going to level up that game. I don't know. If you if you love leveling up, is that if, if that's your thing, then there's a gamble whether you are going to level up or not. And I think that's really, really good in a game. And I think they always need that, that variety, that challenge in the game to overcome. The problem is, Sitrep was unlocked. It could be unlocked. It's such an early level, and that's what made it so accessible to everybody. And even if they did, they could always save it with that prestige point system. Of course, they'd have to earn it again, but they could always go into hardcore and destroy their own teammates' equipment. That made it so easy. It's so easy to obtain that. I think it needs to be more of a challenge. Instead of having the option to prestige, I think you shouldn't have an option to prestige. Of course, you would in some like retrospect um in in some options but i don't think it should be that you prestige and you get everything back like in black ops 2 i think they did it right in modern warfare 3 you had to earn everything back that's why i never went for camos in that game never ever went for camos the only time i went for camos is when i unlocked fifth prestige and then i stopped because i didn't want to go for 20 prestiges oh my god they've been awful and that's when i stopped because you know it's hard to, to prestige and earn, earn, earn the stuff back. In Black Ops 2, that's not possible. You just earn all your stuff. You keep your attachments. And earning the attachments is what's cool about the game. Earning those camos, I understand that. I like that. I like that your camos carried over. Because camos in this game and in Modern Warfare 3 were very, very hard. When I played Modern Warfare 3, I was a respawn junkie. Um... An infected junkie, so I never got these camels. Never, ever got these camels because I wasn't good at the game. I just wasn't. I, I wasn't as good as all the other people. But that that challenge is what made me keep playing. That uh, that guide, um, that waypoint that I had to follow is what made me keep playing the game. So yeah, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Just a quick fifteen and one in five rounds with the M.